75. Come, come, life, forget your losses. It's no fun playing with a doll apart. I hope for a good game tonight, though. There's little it is for me, just a couple of suicides. Hi, dear Dad. I wish you'd grant me a favor. A favor, a favor. Now, isn't that just like a woman? I haven't met one yet who's been willing to abide by the results of a fair game. But I want these two, whether I win or lose. They're geniuses, and you know how badly I'm in need of geniuses right now. I'm grateful spoiled children, they also want to commit suicide over their first disappointment. How many times must I tell you that the game must be played? It is the law, you know it as well as I do. I'm the law. Laws are always in your favor, Dad. There you are. I always said that the universe would be in a wild state of disorder if a woman had any say. No, we must play the game. Whoever said anything about not playing? All I want is you can sit to let them meet here before the game begins. Mm. I bet this isn't so innocent as it sounds. Who are they? I haven't paid much attention to this case. Youth and a girl. He is a poet and she a dancer. Ah, a strong man and a beautiful woman. Your same old tricks, saying you sly thing. You think if they meet here, they'll fall in love and cheat me? Well, suppose I consent. What will you give? I'll give you Kaiser Wilhelm, the Tsar of Russia, Old Francis Joseph, and George of England. That's two to one. And that's dishonest. You're always trying to unload a lot of monarchs onto me when you know I don't want them. Why? When we play for them, it's almost as if you go to sleep and I always win. No bargaining in kings, my dear. I'll give you a whole regiment of soldiers. Soldiers? What do you care about soldiers? Look at your figures again. You've been losing millions of soldiers in Europe for the past two years, and you're more excited about these two rattle-padded idiots. Your idea of a fair trade is to get something for nothing. You love too much. With such covetousness, how could you ever know the thrill of a chance? I'll give you anything. Shh, too late. Here comes one of them. You. You tricked me. You're only playing for time. Ah, sister, be game. Everything is fair but the dice. And just think, if you win this cast, the other half is won. They'll meet them. Who are you? I'm Lyle. Oh, I'm through with you. I want none of you. And who are you? I am death. Death? How different from my dream of you. I thought you were somber. A steer and instead you're, if I may say so, just a trifle commonplace. I'm not as young as I once was. Once figure, you know. Look at her. Pleasing exterior. And yet you wouldn't be seeking me if you didn't know any better. But alas, my boy, beauty isn't even skin deep. That is true. Because I've been seeking you for weeks. Yes, I am always present. Where did you seek me? I tried poison, but just as I was about to swallow it, they snatched it from me. I tried to shoot myself. They cheated me. The pistol wouldn't go off. Those well-meaning idiots. So I came here to leave into the sea. Very good. Only hurry. Someone might come. Why do you wish to die? As if you didn't know. Did you not give me the power to string beautiful words into songs? Did you not give me the power to sing to and take love away? I cannot sing anymore, and yet you ask me why I want to die? I am not a slave. Slaves live just to eat and be clothed, and you have plenty of them. Yes, I have plenty of them. If I cannot have love to warm me, I cannot create beauty, and if I cannot create beauty, I will not live. Are you sure it was love? I believe it was only desire I gave you. Do not seem like to love. Falsehoods, evasions. You gave me a girl who sold flowers on the street. She had hair like gold and a body all curves and rose white like marble. I sang my song for her and the whole world listened. And an ugly beast came and offered her cold. She laughed at me and went away. <laughs> that is love, my boy. <laughs> You're so lucky to find out so young. Now I know what's inside. Why will she persist in lying? Well, I am a sports and a gentleman, and I must admit that life is as truthful as I am. 
Listen, you, and answer me. Does your sweetheart understand your songs? Why should she? Women do not have to understand. They must be fragrant and beautiful, like flowers. And is that all? I do not know any woman. I will show you one who understands your songs. She's coming here. To leap into the sea, like you. Because she's lonely, waiting for you. For me? But I do not know her. But she knows you, through your songs. And you've been seeking me for weeks. Are you to be fooled again by this tricky charlatan? You, who've had enough of life, there is no place for cowards among the lofty dead. The dead forgive me. Life, farewell. Hold. We must play first. Ah. Now it is you who is asking me to play. Come, life. Do me a favor. Give me this one, and the girl shall be yours. No, the game must be played. It's the law. And I am to live in spite of myself. Soon the girl will be here. You don't think be beautiful? Yeah, that's the comedy of it. You probably will, you know. Promises. Promises. Who are you? I am life. Oh, life, dear. I must leave you. I cannot bear you any longer. You are so white and so cold. What have you to complain of? Have I not given you fame and worship and wealth? What are all these without love? What? You? Without love? How about those who stand at your stage door every evening and send you flowers and jewels? One of them shot himself because you stamped on his flowers. Believe me, my dear, that is all the love that there is. Love? No, no, that was desire. <laughs> desire when they seek you, love when you seek them. No, no, love understands. They didn't. They wanted to buy me in order to destroy me. That is why I stamped on their flowers. Young, incurably sentimental. Good. I'm glad you did. Why, who are you? I'm youth. Youth? The poet? You? Oh, I know your songs by heart. I have kissed every line, always when I dance. I try to dance them. But why are you here? I came to leave you to the sea. You must not. What would the poor world do without your beautiful songs? Do not be afraid, my dear. I have won. Alas. Why did you want to die? His sweetheart left him. His sweetheart? So he loved someone. How could any woman he loved when he sings so sweetly? His songs were nothing to her. Nothing? Then she was not worth your love. She was like the men who me at the stage door. She wanted to destroy you. <sighs> Such is life, my dear young lady. Love is the destroyer of all ways. You are right. You saw the myth. Life, love, happiness. I must idolize someone and something, and then the bubble bursts and I'm alone. Now, if she could not understand, no one could understand. How wrong you are. I understand. Don't you believe me? I have danced while you have sung. Do you remember the bird calls? How beautiful. You do understand. You do. Wings flash and soar in your dance. You skim the sea gloriously, lifting your quivering fancy breast against the sunny wind. Dance again for me. Dance to my cloud for me. The loveliest of all. But I can never dance for you anymore. I came here to die. And you'd forgotten it already. Oh, you're all alike, you suicides. Life's littlest deceit fools you again. And you've seen through her, and you know her for what she truly is. Found you. Yes, and you just found love, real love at last. Love that burns like fire and flowers like the trees. You shall not die, and I will fight you for her. Love is stronger than death. Than life, you mean. 
think of all the great lovers of the world. Paola and Francesca, Romeo and Juliet, Isolde and Tristan. I, I claim them all. Who are you to set yourself up against such an august precedence? You think he loves you? It is not you he loves, but the dancing of his songs. He is a poet, therefore he only loves himself. And his sweetheart, for lack of room, he was going to die. See, he's already forgotten her, just as you will one day be forgotten. Why ask too much of me? I can only give you happiness for a moment, and it's true happiness. Love, creation, unity, and the tremendous rhythm of the universe. I can't promise it will endure, and I won't promise that you will not one day be forgotten. What if it is himself he loves me? That too is love. To be supremely happy for a moment, in an hour, that's what we're living for. Life offers you many things. I but one. She pours out the sunshine before you to make you glad, and she sends the winter to chill your heart. She gives you love and desire and takes them away. She brings warm quietness and kills it with hunger and anxiety. Life offers you many things. I but one. Come closer, tired heart. Hold out your wary hands. See what a pearl I offer to kings and beggars alike. Come, I will give you peace. Peace? Do you think I want peace? I, a dancer, a child of the whirling winds. Do you think I would be blind to sunlight, deaf to its music, to my sweet applause, dumb to laughter, all this joy that is in me scattered in the darkness, dust in my hair, in my eyes, on my dancing feet, and yet, and yet life is so cool. My dears, we would never leave one another. She is mine. Hadn't you forgotten something? The game. She was half one. She too has found love. Ah, but in doing so, she laid her life on the knees of the fates. Therefore, we must play. It is the law. I'm not afraid to play. This time I have you, Death. Ah, me? Oh, nay, life. I am clever than you. On this game hangs the doom of both. Both? You lie. I've already won you. You cannot die. You cannot die, you say. True. But if I win, the girl dies. Isn't that so? Well, if she dies, what then? He loves her, yet he cannot fall. Nay, he shall live forever mute, forever regretting his lost love, until you yourself will be begging me to take him. Oh, Dad, I beg of you. Ah, <laughs> uh, life on her knees to death. No, life, I don't think I could help you if I would. It is the law. Let us play. It is the law. I have won again! Yes. Curse the Lux. But we will play for these two again, and then it will be my turn. Yes, but we will have lived. Until then, death, you are powerless. I fear you not, and I will guard her from you. Geniuses. The geniuses. How brave, how strong, how beautiful is my love for Well, I guess it was a good game after all. See, that's the difference between you and me. You play to win, and I play for the fun of the thing. But tell me, life, why is it that you make such a fuss over dreamers, yet you care so little for soldiers? Soldiers don't matter to me one way or the other. But one day, the dreamers will change the earth, and I'll have the game all my way. That remains to be seen. How about the kings? Kings are my enemies. Do you remember how careless I was during the French Revolution? I've always had it on my conscience, and I think I'd feel better if I told you. Whenever I threw a good combination, I'd double the dice. Heavens, I'm not surprised. Aren't women unscrupulous? And I thought I was unfair. Well, I suppose I've got to keep an eye on you. I warn you, I'll stop at nothing. By the way, what's the game tomorrow night? A play. And in that game, I regret to inform you, you haven't had a chance in the world. Don't 
Don't forget I have science to help me. Science? Bah! A fool's toy! I'll sweep them all together in my nest. The men are learning and the ones they try to hear. Remember that the sun, the blessed healing sun, shall rise in the morning. Don't remind me of the sun. 70,000, 51, 32. I must never let him know how much I admire those soldiers. For the flower of youth and there are dreamers among them. 